Beispiel noch. Alright. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be unboxing a murder router which I have bought off eBay. Um, it was on sale, 20% off. Um, I have the standard one that I got off of my ISP. Um, it's not the greatest. I'm getting pretty slow internet speeds. Um, I'll just show you guys later um, just the speed I'm getting which, with my current modem and this modem I have here. So let's get into the unboxing. Alright, what's in the box? We have here a Neki Nighthawk um, Modem Router. Um, it's MBN ready. Um, and that's all I know. Um, I don't know, which I'll go through a few of the specs as we go. But um, yeah, this is the box packaging. Um, I thought it was going to be larger than that. It's a, it's a large box, but anyway, let's keep continuing unboxing. Not too familiar with this stuff, with all the technical jargon and whatnot, but I'll, link, I'll leave a link in the description down below. You guys can have a look at um, the specs for yourself and see what you think about it. But I will do a comparison of speed of which of what I'm getting now and what I get speeds on this one. Okay. Alright, so to start off, I've got quick start guide, the router. Um, here. So, um, that's it there. Shiny. Oh, it's shiny because it's got this case on it. Um, it's got a Wi Fi set in here, which I might leave that on for the time being until I set it up. But um, at the back, you've got all your connections. Um, you've got your DSL, you've got your four Ethernet ports, your three antennas, um, your wireless. Bridge, I think it is, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and you got your on and off switch, power, and your reset button. Pretty straightforward, but that's it there. Um, what In the box you get, I think it's an RJ45 from memory, which is just a standard telephone jack. There, um, a filter, is it handy? Um, you got your three antennas for the router. Let's get these plugged in. One there, one there, the center one. I don't think this is going to any particular order, I'm just screwing them in. And, oh, there. So, there she is. The Neki, what's it called? Nighthawk router. Um, got two USB 3.0s on either side, just noticed, um, which is good for backing up. Um, like photos, videos, and sharing your files all across the network. Um, we've got like another adapter right there. Um, just a yellow Castana Cat5 cable there. And your power lead. Should probably need to do something about this. Get in station core. This is quite large. Um, quite long, I should say. They, um, just, this might be a problem to us. Only because my power jack is in the hallway um, and it'll be sticks out. So I might run the risk of people walking through it, accidentally bumping it damaging either this or even the um, the power in the wall. So I might get an extension lead, a small one, just to run across so it's nice and thin, um, just so it's out of the way. But yeah, that's what we have here. All right, I'm gonna be running some quick tests just on um, Google, on my MacBook, to see what speeds I'm getting using the existing modem. This is a Chucky Beat production. Wow, that's terrible, that can't be right. 1.25 megabits per second. Might have to redo that. And it's struggling to get any more than that, 0.8. No, that's terrible. Let's run this test again and see what happens. This is just of um, the Google one, when you just type in speed test in Google. This is the one. So that's more like my internet, that's what I'm used to seeing. Um, when I do speed tests using my existing um, modem. Alright, so 4.41. That's what I'm averaging. Now, put this away. I've got my iPhone 6 at the moment. Um, just going to do a speed test 
on this one take forever so let's see what my iPhone 6 plus gets at using the standard modem I got from my ISP all right so a little bit faster than my MacBook 13.67 uh, megabits um, and yeah upload fail but you know just to give you guys a quick comparison of the two um, next I'm going to be showing you guys the Netgear Nighthawk see what speeds we get at that all right so this is my current amount of radar we're using at the moment um, straight from TPG um, and this is what we're going to be replacing it with. so yeah diff um, big size difference in comparison all right now let's begin the switch Like that. Now let's see if we can turn this on. Where's on? All right. As you can see here, it's booting up. You've got your Ethernet ports right there. Um, your WPS. I think is one of those two um, USB 3.0 to connect your USBs hard drive external hard drives also 2.4 or 5 gigahertz options um, DSL internet and your power so being the first time this has been booted on might take a while for it to fight okay that's good I think Okay, um, after you've seen that fast forwarded thing, it took about 20 25 seconds, thereabouts. Um, well, most of the lights are on, except I'm still waiting for that one, I think. One of these, just to say it's connected to the internet. But I might have to tune that in the settings, which I'll go and do that now. Alright, now I'm just running through basic setup. Um, Got the password username here. The DSL light has um, been on display now, so which is good. It came up by itself. Now just typing in the password, which is just a generic. Now I've just got to follow these steps. Um, it's also a good idea to, if you like, to change the original password. Um, I generally do as well as the name just like to get fancy Production. I'm just going through all the scenes I might speed this up actually all right they do talk about this genie app um, I haven't downloaded it yet on the App Store but um, I might do that now and I've also just updated to this new iOS 10 which I'm not sure if I like it because it's impossible to get past the home lock screen um yeah app store what i'm looking for but yeah this genie app apparently you can repair control um and have a look at your uh, router settings which is good all right success i just logged in all right now i want to show you guys a um just a quick test with a different um router i was getting about i think 13 no, four, I think. I think about third, yeah, 13, I think. This is slightly over. This one, which is good, 14.43. And the faster upload speed, so that's good. I'm happy with those speeds, I guess. Um, yeah. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, just a quick unboxing and setup and speed comparison just between the two.